Introduction of the welding instruction. The course will be divided into two big parts. Introduction of move Z instruction and the introduction of the move ZS instruction. The course direction will be around 10 minutes and the main goal is the B hour of the welding instruction. Let's start. Move Z instruction. Add and click the Move Z instruction. The setup page will be displayed. In this page, we need to set up a start position, end position, and any position. As the picture above, the TCP needs to move in a Z-shaped welding path on an inclined plane. It did those three points position first. The start position is the origin of the welding path, and the end position is the terminus of it. And the any position is an N at any position in the welding plane. The welding plane Y positive direction is from the start position to the end position. And with this any position, we could define the welding plane, similar with the user coordinate system. Moving speed is the speed of move Z motion. As a picture above, Dimension A is the distance between the peak and through the wave. Dimension B represents for the distance between two adjacent peak or through. In the case of unticked, the default angle of the Z motion is a 45 degrees, means B will be twice dimension of A. Arc transition is for the peak and through motion. Peak pulse time, positive X side point means the position time after TCP reaches the peak while negative is for top side. The TCP motion of move Z is Z shape polyline as above. The arc transition can be both ticks or one only. Let's see the motion result of move Z instruction. The first thing we need to edit the start position of the move Z. Second, we need to edit the end position of the move Z. The any position is at any position in a welding plane. Then, we can click the Run Program button. before going back to the initial position before running the program. We can see that the move Z path is a Z shape polyline. The TCP will not pause when reaching the peak or through. Now what we can do is tick the move Z arc transition and run the program again. We could see that the robot will move an arc transition path at the peak of the welding line.
move ZS instruction. Click move ZS instruction to pop up the edit page. As the picture on the right side, the TCP needs to move with a ZS shape path in an inclined welding plane. Edit the three positions that move ZS required, which are start position, end position, and any position. The any position is at any position in the welding plane. With this any position, we could define the welding plane similar with the user coordinate system. Move ZS instruction. The moving speed is the speed of move ZS motion. Z width is usually no need to set up. Only when we tick the Z density, the default value of Z density is twice of the Z width. When ticked the rotation angle, input the angle that robot swing towards to one side. This value is 45 degrees when it's unticked. Arc transition stands for swing pause when reaching the maximum of the minimum position. Peak pause time, positive x or negative x means the pause time when the pause of R y reaching the maximum or minimum position. Separately, the TCP motion of move z is a straight line, and the TCP will swing along with y axis. The robot requires high accuracy TCP when moving with move ZS path. Arc transition and peak pause time can be both ticked or on one only. Let's see the motion result of move ZS. So first, we need to teach the start position of move ZS. Then, edit the end position of move ZS. The any position is any position in the welding plane. Set the Z width as a 10 mm, speed 50, Z density as a 20 mm, and rotation angle as a 3 degrees. Run the program and move the robot to the initial position. In this video, we could see that the TCP path is a straight line with a move ZS instruction, and it will swing along with the Y axis while moving. That is all for welding instruction. Thank you for watching.